Right, lucky last dimension until free play. I'm actually kind of curious, item wise, right? How much have we seen? How much is still to be seen? There's still a decent amount of items. Obviously, there's less items in Side Dungeon 2, but yeah, I think that's going to be a good goal. Oh, weapons is a bit more interesting to try and fill out this collection log and then wrap it up. But anyway, onto the dimension. So, like usual, I am going to grind out the thieves and healers. Right, so nice and simple. You just grab the conscripts and save the quickest animation. Buy out our gear. Five, 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 and five. Turn auto equip on as well. Ooh. Go back to ask. It's annoying it is having an extra click. It's it's more functional. Oh, not you. I've also being told the caps uh, are going to be a grind as well. So I'm curious about that. Oh, did we... Ah, because I'm clicking no. Yeah, I will see you once we have the gold, and then I'll see you for the items. Something like that. Anyway. Right, that's the gold. 73, 71, 71k. Me and Steve, interesting. No idea what that is. I also haven't been on the lookout for... Were they dinner boys? Yeah, oh well. Worry about them in the worry dimension when we're trying to get all the items. Okay, so, like usual, we want loot, we want holy, and we need to purchase everything else just so we have the right reputation. Uh, we could get knights, I'm not going to bother just yet. So, you, and then four thieves, and we'll start, probably not at one, probably still start from the 200 range, right, so we can still go after the magnets, but then try and get, obviously, decent gear and items before we start pushing floors. Actually, we didn't get any hero's blood. So we're probably going to start at one, right, and hopefully find some on the way. I should also probably spend the relics. Uh, essence is nice. I probably still want to just power up crits. You know, we'll just grab essence. Hopefully it has more of an effect in this inside dungeon too. Anything else? I think, nah, we'll just save it for now. Could probably start upgrading the class relics. I mean, the stats aren't huge, but still kind of nice. Right, we'll start from one. Actually, no, we'll start from, I think it was 40 to 60. Let me double check if I still have it open it somewhere. I do not. I think it's, yeah, well, I'll just start one. I'll start 11, All right? Find the hero's blood. Not too bad, this should be just about the end, right? We might be able to get the boss done, but for 350, so we should have a decent chunk of good items to make use of. And then we can start going for progression. And gold-wise, we should be quite high as well. We get the boss done? Probably not. You're gonna, yeah, finish yourself. Oh well, we still got the gold. But yes, that's what we want, right? Some good armor, some good trinkets. Uh, do we get Hero's Blood? That's the big one to stick on the healer. Yes, we did. Perfect. Cool. So now we can go for the actual progression. So we'll unlock the knight, as warping is super useful. Uh, probably don't need Regal and don't need the Dark Mage. And then we'll just set up the usual comp. Is there, is there the auto hire by chance? There is tap select, but it doesn't look like, well, maybe, maybe in one of these, right? Now that's purge. You don't have anything else. I, oh, I can't remember if there is a recruiter to, you know, auto equip. But anyway, I will set up the comp and then, yeah, we'll probably just go for progression or at least some higher item find. Right, that looks good. So status prevention on the healer. Then I'm running the magnets just for the extra chance at items. Now I'm curious where to start from. I might just start from 200 and hope that we get some more magnets as well. Uh, so 200 to 300 is where we get the magnets and then see how far we can progress up further from that before we start going from 800 and going for the best gear. Completely forgot about this boss. Oh well. So what, 300 floors? Still found, mm. yeah, some decent stuff. Right, where's the assassin daggers? They're the big things I want, right? Because they're the highest crit multiplier. I think we should be fine to start progressing, especially if I convert and then upgrade a little bit. Looking good, five magnets. That should hopefully help us net some decent gear. Now we do want to convert. Uh, we just need to say 5K, right? Yeah, yeah, just 5K. What do we want to level? That is the question, right? Because things are starting to get expensive. I do think we need more HP, need more damage. Probably, probably worth, right? It's definitely more cost effective than upgrading those. And I'm using them all a lot, so. We'll bite the bullets, get them all to level five. 
for an extra 10 base stats is two levels. So it's about, about equivalent in what we spent roughly. We'll upgrade these a little bit too. Uh, regen maybe. Crit damage is nice, but I can probably wait MP, don't have to worry about. Uh, probably just HP. Yeah, okay. So I think we're gonna try and progress from 800. I don't know. Right, we're at 300 HP so we can survive. I don't know about how much damage we're doing though. That's the, the big ask. Hopefully we can clear some enemies. Right, I don't have HP, but we are clearing. Plus we do have the sleep effects. So that should be nice as well. In fact, if I do it manually and then play around the sleep, I could probably get quite far. Got a warp, I'm curious, right? If we just bypass the boss? No, okay. Uh, okay, so we're one person down and we're still doing pretty well. I lost them around 8, 840 or so. And yeah, so manual, just so much better than just playing on auto. And this boss is a joke, right? Because we can just out heal it. I mean, that did like nothing. And even when he ups his own damage, it's, it's still nothing. Yeah. Reduce damage, plus he's taking the burn. Shouldn't be too long of a fight, surely. And it's just the last thousand floors. I might quit out, right, just to get the full comp back. Or I might just try and progress as far as possible. Having one person down is no issue. Especially with the, the two Dehorans. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Right, and just inflicting sleep. Super useful weapon to find early. Even when the damage drops off, right, we've got the thieves, their damage. So basically the idea is we just spam click till we get to the multi-enemy rooms. Then as soon as we put one to sleep, never mind, we just finish off the other one, heal up, and rinse and repeat, and it's nice and easy. Sleep, yep, so focus the other one. So we'll take care of them with two hits, which is nice. Pretty sure we're at 100% we're crit or something with the thieves, right? Have to be. It feels like we always crits. Here we try and inflict sleep as much as possible. Take a little bit of damage, it's fine. Yeah, nice and easy. Pretty sure we could progress pretty far without having to quit out and grab the other thief. That'll do it though. I lost one thief to a tick of poison damage. We'll see if we can get the boss done, at the very least. Save our progress, and then we'll reset. We should have a bunch of better items too to equip to up our damage. Should be able to just spam click through, yeah. So we got the sleep on the, on the boss too. So we got the chest, because one thief, there we go. Demon shield, great at the plus nine range, right? It gives a massive attack boost, I'm pretty sure at that point. Plus, you know, some legendaries, some better Dehorans. What about trinkets? I don't think any new spectacular trinkets. All together, we should be able to equip much better and make our way all the way to the boss. Or at least get close. I don't think we have to grind. I think, yeah, the strategy, you know, do one to wherever to get enough gold for the thief and healer, and then do the healer and thief 200 to wherever to get the magnets and better items, and then progress is definitely, definitely the go. Super right stats, right? And 100% crits for close to 300% damage. What is this? Chance to evade? Yeah, awesome. Uh, the knight themselves has a decent chance to evade. Should be 30%, yeah, because I'm running the spectral draught. Right, anything else? Probably just relics. Might as well just go for the crits, try and max it out, even though we're 100%. Though it would be nice to swap to some of the better weapons. Actually, no, though, the Calvium is less damage, never mind. Right, and a 30 for 150% is not quite there either. Yeah, no, so it's still better to use the Assassin Dagger. In fact, actually, the Dehoran on this guy, because he's at 100%, we swap that over. Your crit chance is 85% now. We'll go with the Assassin Dagger, just the highest amount of damage possible. All right, should be this one. Yeah, so high damage, got some attack, got attack boost, rather than the magnets I think I was running before. I think that should be fine. Oh, do we convert the essence? Might as well. Should be able to max crits. Yeah, perfect, one down. I like going for the relics that can max, because it's you know, a nice objective to have. have. You know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I'm going to progress and we should be able to get to the boss. Right, here we go. This should be it. Perfect. Now, from the look of the boss, I'm going to say it's just the, the same Soul Dungeon 2 where it has all the abilities. Or has access to all the abilities. I, I mean, comparison to the Primal Lands. Right, because the, the Darkest Lord has something else going for them. And we do want to just max out our health. 
and yeah, just run away with huge chunks of damage, right? Doing 1,200 per hit, and you are not really using anything special. In fact, you're just doing a very minor single target attack. There we go. Yeah, so you have the, the abilities of everyone, so at the same time, you are not... You're not in trouble whatsoever. All right, you should be done for pretty soon. Weak attack poison. Oh, how scary. Does seem like you have a lot of HP though. There we go. Done in by reflect damage too. Cool, so that is base game done. All right, on to the warrior dimension and farming up, going for unlocks. All those items matter, not. Cool, so I'll talk to you, purge everything. Don't bother with the VIP or anything like that because we have all the unlocks correct. Yeah, everything else is just out of our reach. Convert all the gold and onwards to the warrior dimension. in the story <laughs> still okay so magic attack that is what i need to test out because just doing you know massive crit damage is pretty good but i do see how it can have an upper limit right because all the relics have caps whereas we can max uh magic damage a lot higher do i have necroblast is that is that all yeah you're the last on the vip list so the rage circa and the shifter do they have relics I guess not, because there's no room. Uh, yeah, so Necroblast, I assume, is just going to be a stronger attack. Not that we can see it anyway. Let's just check the time. Curious. Because the last few dimensions were a lot quicker. Yeah, so 16 hours to 10. That's not too bad. All right, that's on par with what I'd like the speed run for Sir Dungeon 2 to be. And, I don't know, it seems like it's definitely a lot quicker, Sir Dungeon 1. So you should be able to get this a lot lower, and I'm sure it probably is a lot lower, because I know speedrunning so Dungeon 1 was a lot more apparent. Anyway, we'll leave that be. And look at that. All right, if I can get back to 45,000 in 300 hours, I'm not gonna put 300 hours into this again, in all honesty, but I'm pretty sure we can smash that pretty easily. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, and see you for the Warrior Dimension. There's no way to get off this screen, right, and get back to the main, no. See ya.